yeah welcome in welcome to the live listening party for the new single kaleidoscope yeah i'm excited to get this one out tell us about the name i didn't actually come up with the name to be fair um i played it to my partner and uh, she just said kaleidoscope to me and i was just like why did you say that and she's like it's kind of takes you you know you know how kaleidoscopes work you know the lights and they kind of shine in different ways and it's almost like taking you on a journey of uh you know into with many different routes and that sort of thing so i was like yeah you know i can see that the track kind of does that in a way as well which is quite cool so um i went with that name uh, i just felt it fitted perfectly as well and i found these cool graphics really suited the kind of the name and the whole the theme and everything as well so yeah that's uh it was it was literally just her listening to it and she she just said it and i was like perfect <laughs> Because I always uh, always struggle to come up with the names, you know. Obviously, when we listen to the track in a minute, and see if you kind of think the name fits well. But yeah, the track itself. I mean, I set myself this goal every month to release a lo-fi track. And, you know, so far I've managed to do it, which is good. The next one will be in March. So maybe we'll, we'll make this into a regular thing as well. But let's give the track a listen to. And... Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. There we go. <laughs> I really enjoyed making this one. But I think I had a lot of fun with some of the new uh, new plugins I'd got over the Black Friday period. Just kind of the nice pianos, really nice and warm, and the guitar. 
because the guitar was just like a MIDI played in one, you know. Hopefully it's a little bit less obvious, but um, yeah, it's just got a nice, quite, quite a raw tone to it, which is cool. We like, that's good to hear. <laughs> There's that little bit of anxiety that comes when you put out a new, a new track, isn't there? And you're kind of like, oh, you know, how's it going to be reacted after the album and that sort of thing as well. I think it feels like a good development from the album because I think the tracks were, they're all very unique on the album, which was cool. And then this kind of continues that theme a little bit, I think. Kind of, again, it's not, you wouldn't say it's like any of the other tracks, which is good. Yeah, it's nice to keep them kind of being, just growing really. Uh, how much time did it take? Was it hard to make? I'd say this one probably took, I mean, I started it in the first week of January and I finished it, let's see when I did the master. Yeah, a month later. So it took me quite a while actually. The biggest thing was sound design for me. Um, I took a long time messing with the sounds and kind of making them, you know, all fit together quite cohesively. And that took quite a while. The ideas were pretty quick to make it. So it was more like the sound design and then what kind of environment do I want to create for them? Because I wanted it to sound really warm and lush. Probably took me about two, three weeks to mix. And then obviously the master, like I said on stream before, I like to leave a week between the mix and the master just to kind of allow the track to breathe a bit, me to reflect on it, see if anything needs changing and that. So yeah, over that period, you know, arranging it in the first couple of weeks and then two, three weeks of, uh, you know, mixing and messing around with the sounds um, and then the mastering stage. Uh, yeah, so it did, it did take a little while this one, to be fair. I like the flute, bringing it back from a tune on your album, a soothing sound of serenity. <laughs> that's what I wanted to create, like just a soothing sound. And that's kind of what I want to do with all these uh, lo-fi tracks, you know, just have them that you can put them in the background, play them lots of times and then still enjoy them. So that's kind of my, my main goal with them. Uh, seems like you are building quite the personal language through your music making. I mean, I hope so. I, mean, I do hope so. I feel like lo-fi you can do that and it's kind of more study chill kind of side of music. Um, I know it's very niche but obviously we've seen how popular it is from you know all the Spotify playlists and you know people just having this kind of music on the background so hopefully although it is niche it is appealing to to a lot of people but hopefully that like, the instrumental can provoke some sort of feeling and those kind of things from uh, from within which would be really cool glad that's kind of been something you picked up on i like the soothing sound of serenity i like that <laughs> might have to call my uh, next album that the soothing sound of serenity i like that <laughs> but yeah it's been good fun i hope you've enjoyed the track i mean i appreciate all the all the great comments in the in the chat it's up on spotify apple music youtube and on, most importantly it's up on bandcamp as well I'm going to do some special merch for this track as well. It's been great to share the track with you. Get it out there. Kaleidoscope. Got this one brief, but you know, again, there'll be another track in March. All right, everyone. Well, I appreciate you all coming by. All links are below if you want to check out the, uh, the previous album, Highway. Um, if you want to link to the single and obviously the merchandise as well. And like I said, I'm going to make some Kaleidoscope merch from there. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. And yeah, I'm always on Twitch on Thursday evening at 9 p.m. So if you want to come by and check me out there, just search for Alex JL on Twitch TV. And yeah, that's where I am if you uh, want to come see me making some of these tracks that I'm putting out. But until then, have a good rest of your day and I'll see you all soon.